Hello everyone, the Samsung Galaxy S10 has been out for a massive amount of years now and I want to go and do a mid-year re-review of this thing. Nothing super crazy, we've already talked about this phone at nauseum throughout this whole entire year, but I just want to go and hit on a few things and how it's kind of been holding up throughout the last you know couple of months since my early review of this thing. First of all, the Samsung Galaxy S10, still a mind-boggling phone. It is very crazy how good of a job Samsung did with this phone back in 2019. I've already hit on a lot of things that this phone kind of went through already earlier this year, but I will tell you some of the big things we've seen that's you know successor 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 come out so we now have basically you know the i you know we basically now have the samsung galaxy s24 that came out and i've already reviewed this thing and i've compared the samsung galaxy s10 against the galaxy s24 and there are still some cool things that the s10 still has going for it that actually like hold up fairly well i think the display of the galaxy s10 still holds up very very well although the newest phones have 120 hertz displays and they have you know a basically a lot of other things going for it, a brighter display as well. I think the Galaxy S10's display still looks very, very good for the most part. And that's a really nice thing going on for this particular device. On top of that, I would say the Galaxy S10, you know, the curved panel, the curved sides, I kind of like. Although I think the you know, flat sides on the S24 are more practical, the S10 still looks very, very nice for sure. You're also still maintaining the fingerprint sensor in the display, which is a very big deal back in 2019. But you're still getting a micro SD card and a headphone jack inside of this phone as well, which is amazing. That is something that the Galaxy S10 and, you know, has that the Galaxy S24 does not have, and every phone basically since the Galaxy S21 does not have that type of capability. So it's actually very crazy that the Galaxy S10 has that, and in some ways, this phone actually has held up kind of better than the Galaxy, you know, that we had before, like the Galaxy S24. So pretty crazy stuff there without a doubt as well. Moving on, the backside still holds up very, very well. Not really that much to complain about here either. And I think that in and of itself is another very nice thing going on for this particular device just because it's held up so well from that particular side as well. So on the exterior, this phone still holds up very, very well. And it still is a very beautiful device when it comes down to it. I think the camera of this thing still for the most part not much has changed. It's a good camera. It's a great camera actually when it first came out. The triple camera setup wide ultra wide telephoto lens. Really the big downside of this particular camera compared to phones nowadays are things that maybe like you know the lack of you know a 8k capability on this particular phone but i do think for the most part that's not even that big of a deal considering that this phone still holds up very very well in so many different ways on top of that so i definitely will tell you from that side you know it definitely gives a thumbs up for me although again like it's not a perfect phone of all time i do think this one still looks and holds up very very well from that particular perspective as well now on top of that i will also add with the samsung galaxy s10 very very cool features in terms of performance it's still like not a terrible performing device you're getting that snapdragon 855 chipset inside with six or eight gigabytes of ram now the six gig of ram option there's definitely been some improvement there but a big thing you have to kind of keep in mind here is that with the samsung galaxy s10 this phone basically has the same type or the same amount of performance as something like the Samsung Galaxy, you know, it has the same amount of RAM as the base Galaxy S24. So it is actually very interesting that we have some improvement there that we're able to go through and get a little bit of an improvement there, you know, for the most part. The fact that this device has that type of performance inside of it. So I think this in and of itself is a very, very interesting thing when it kind of comes down to it as well. The, ba the battery, like things in the battery features also still hold up very well. I like the fact that this particular device does give you wireless reverse, you know, reverse wireless charging. And I think that's a very cool thing going on for this particular device as well. And if I'm going through and getting a certain device, I think that's a very, very cool thing. So overall, I definitely do think that the Samsung Galaxy S10 has held up fairly well, you know, throughout the 2024 year. Of course, there's better devices, better things that you can basically buy, but I definitely do think the Galaxy S10 is a, is a legend in and of itself. I probably would not recommend buying this phone anymore, but it still has a lot of capability and a lot of quality for sure. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soul then.